Wait, isn't this... Is the organization's world sleeping too? No, it, it can't be. I know I definitely found the seven keyholes already. So I've got to be awake again, and in the real world. But why here? Oh, what's the <sighs> matter, sleepyhead? Who's there? Show yourself! We jumped through a lot of hoops to get you here. But it looks as if it's gonna pay off. <laughs> You're part of this? Hey, let's hit these plot points in order, Sora, Roxas. First, you must be wondering about your revised itinerary. Why am I here, not back home? The answer's simple. We brought you to this place, hijacked your little slumber party before it started, and ever since we've been both your companions and your constant guides. Before it started? Uh, the man in the robe! And so that guy in the black coat! And Xemnas! Oh. Bingo! You were able to go back in time to just before your home became a sleeping world, only because a past version of you already existed there. And I can see, in the past, you already met Mr. Robe Guy. Yep, he was there then to make sure you ended up here now. That's ridiculous! It sure is. It's too perfect. Who'd ever believe it? Which is why you idiots never saw it coming. You thought you were off doing some kind of test, right? We'll test this. How come you're wearing the same clothes if you're already back home? You are not gonna wake up, okay? Look, there's no real versus dreams anymore. There's just you, us, and this. I see. Fair enough. So what? At least I know who to blame for it. Ooh, I see you still got that angry look down. But here is where I tag out. I got just a few more hoops I gotta jump through. Come with me. What? Pleasant dreams, kiddo. Yes, this was where it started. At this point, I still had no idea that I was talking to myself. He cast away his bodily form just to set me on the appointed path. What do you mean? That is Xehanort, reduced to just a heart. The being you and your friends called Ansem. Whoa! Is that...? Yes. The point in time that Zigbar mentioned. Me. Right before my world was swallowed by the darkness. To move through time, you must leave your body behind. Ansem first sent me on my way, and then placed himself here when the time was right. That 
is what set all these events in motion. What are you saying? That he knew everything that would happen? No, not everything. But remember, Ansem possessed Riku and saw his experiences in real time. So? That could only tell him so much. How did he know I would be here today? Simple. <sighs> Kyrie! You've been here many times. Your first journey, your voyage through memories, in the datascape, in your dreams, relived again and again, like deja vu. King Mickey? Oh. Donald! Goofy! Pluto! Why am I here? I unlocked all seven keyholes, so I should be back in the world I came from. Majesty! Donald! Goofy! Huh? Huh? Nomine, is that you? Wait! Nomine! I've got a message for you. I meant to tell you once this was all over. Huh? Who are... you? Why am I... Is that... Sora? Sora! Sora, don't! Oh, hey, wait! You gotta wake up!
Are you what's trapping him in that nightmare? <sighs> Because if you are, I'm what nightmares fear! Come on, wait up! Who are you? You're... Roxas. How can you be here? Am I dreaming? Come on, say something. This could have been the other way around. Huh? But it really has to be you. What do you mean? There are so many hearts that are connected to yours. You're me, so you can feel what I felt. <sighs> no. Roxas, you're you. We're not the same. I wanted to tell you that. That you deserve as much as I do to be your own person. Uh, uh, Sora, see? That's why it has to be you. Again. Did they cause all this pain? What do you want me to see? <laughs> Sora, don't chase the dreams. They'll leave you nowhere. Just to an abyss you'll never be able to wake up from.
going on in Sora's world? <laughs> Why won't he open his eyes? Is he still in the nightmare? That is right. Huh? Ansem! <laughs> Sora can no longer wake up. No matter how many nightmares you consume, you cannot wake someone who has fallen into the chasm of dreams. What? Dreams hold our memories. Sleep holds our dreams. And darkness, it holds our sleep. Sora's heart belongs to the darkness now. Sora would never give in to the darkness! But you feel it, don't you? This world, the nightmare, the abyss. Why haven't you returned to the reality whence you came? No. This is a... Dream of a dream. A twofold nightmare. This whole journey, you have been inside Sora's dreams. And now darkness within darkness awaits you. What? No! I, I can't get loose! Ah! Ah! At the start of your test, when you struck out from that tiny island, you saw me there dressed in a robe. Immediately you knew something was wrong. So without even knowing it, you dove into Sora's dream. And you became exactly what that sigil on your back represents. A dream eater to protect Sora from nightmares. Me? I'm a dream eater? Correct. But you failed to protect him. After all your efforts to command the darkness and protect those you cherish, it is a shame you locked that power away in the end. Except... It's not over. I can still save Sora. So you understand what to do. Set the darkness in you free, and you can rescue your friend. Ansem. Or... Xehanort. You used to be a Keyblade wielder. But darkness stole your heart. And the Keyblade with it. Don't you see? That's half the reason I'm even on this journey. After allowing darkness into my heart, am I still fit to wield the Keyblade? Even after locking you away, here you are, haunting me again. So I get it now. There's no point in trying to hold the darkness back. At last, you see clearly. You know, when I look at you, there's this memory that flashes back. A secret I said I'd keep when I was little. The main reason I kept dreaming about seeing the outside world was because of him. Hmm? My journey begins here. And now, I'm going back to the real world. And then to Sora's side. That... is your answer? Yes. I know the way. Consume the darkness. Return it to light. You can try. Ansem! You're part of my heart now! Part of the light! Ever the fool boy, and forever a pawn of the darkness!
Whoopsie daisy. Wasn't easy putting you into a second sleep, and he almost woke you up. So then, all that stuff I just saw, did you put that in my head? No. That wasn't stuff. It was a dream. The falling asleep part was definitely our bad. But we can't put stuff in your head. Hey, I got an idea. Ask your heart. See if it's got a clue. Well, my heart was aching. That's why I kept going. Oh, thank you, Sora's heart, for pushing him right into our clutches. Aren't hearts great? Steer us wrong every time. You know, right? Because you all have hearts. Axel, and Roxas, and Namine, and that other girl. I felt what Roxas felt. And they laughed together, got mad, and they grieved. You have to have a heart to cry. <laughs> it's about time you noticed. Indeed. <sighs> A heart is never lost for good. There may have been variances in our dispositions, but a number of us unquestionably showed signs of a burgeoning replacement. <gasps> Once born, the heart can also be nurtured. Our experiments creating heartless were attempts to control the mind and convince it to renounce its sense of self. But understand, one can banish the heart from the body, but the body will try to replace it the first chance it gets, for as many times as it takes. And so I knew, even after we were divided into heartless and nobodies, it was just a temporary separation. Why then? Why did you lie to them and tell them they had no hearts? Xemnas and Xehanort formed the organization for a specific reason. Round up a bunch of empty husks, hook them up to Kingdom Hearts, then fill them all with the exact same heart and mind. Translation? They were gonna turn all the members into Xehanort. Make more Xehanorts? You tricked your friends to... But you, aren't you scared of just turning into someone else? Me? I'm already half Xehanort. That's nuts! However, through weakness of body, weakness of will, or weakness of trust. Most of the original members we had chosen for the organization were inadequate. Thus, naturally, they never had a chance to attain their goal. Yet, even this was to be expected. <sighs> we have learned of the heart's folly and we have achieved our other goals. This last excursion has proven to be a worthy closing assignment for the organization. Just stop it! You treat people's hearts like bottles on a shelf, but they're not! Hearts are made of the people we meet and how we feel about them. They're what ties us together even when we're apart. They're what make me strong. Hmm. Duh. <laughs> You're strong because of the ties you have with other people. As if the Keyblade would choose a wimp like you. But no pine. We see much bigger and better things in your future. Once you side with us. I know the Keyblade didn't choose me, and I don't care. I'm proud, 
to be a small part of something bigger. The people it did choose. <gasps> my friends, they are my power! Those are just words. You, you've lost. <clears throat> Fine. See where your power gets you here. Xemnas! He's all yours! Strength to protect what matters. Oh. This place. Did I finally make it out of the dream? Sora and I have been split up since the start of our journey. Because Ansem, no, because Xehanort planned it. And that means we're a long way off course from the Mark of Mastery exam Yen Sid gave us. All right, Sora's gotta be here, somewhere. End of the road, huh? I know I'm back in the real world, but I still have my Dream Eater powers. Which means, he still hasn't woken up. Where are you, Sora? Huh? Dream Eater! Is that where Sora is? How do I get across? Huh? Oh. Right. I get it. You... again. You just make it too easy. I know you think you've won, but you lost the moment you dived this far in. You're in the deepest pit of slumber, and you've worn yourself down to nothing. There's no returning to the world above. What do you mean? <sighs> we told you. It was not the sleeping keyholes that guided you. They are not the reason you are here. You've been on a path. One we laid out for you. That sigil on your chest is the proof. What? See, that sigil, the X, it tells us where you are at all times. You had wondered aloud before why we kept showing up where you were. It's because we need you, Sora. 
or to be more precise, we need what will be left of you. The thirteenth dark vessel. Why, I... Why was it assured you would come here today? Because I followed my destined path, and I'm here looking at you right now. You can move through time, but time itself is immovable. Today, all of my selves throughout time were meant to gather here and to welcome you, Sora, as our 13th member. These facts cannot be changed. What's gonna happen? I have now told you all that I know. We are all here. And what the future holds in store is beyond my sight. I will return to my own time and grow into the man who becomes all these others. While I know this future now that I have lived it, returning to my own time will erase the memories and experiences I have gained here. Still, my appointed path is now etched in my heart, which will first lead me to seek the outside world. Riku. Your heart will sleep forever in the folds of darkness, and your body will be another vessel for me. So light gives way to darkness. Good night. Sora. Hands off my new vessel. Uh, vessel? Yes. We originally had our sights set on you. But... You developed a certain resistance to darkness. So we did what the Keyblade did, and moved down the list. Uh, Roxas. Uh, now there was a worthy candidate. But, unfortunately, he became too aware of himself, and returned to Sora. Organization 13's true goal is to divide Xehanort's heart among 13 vessels. Thanks to you and Sora, we learned not all our candidates were fit for the task. But, we managed to make up the difference. And now, Sora, the 13th vessel, is within our grasp. Thirteen? Xehanorts? <gasps> what is... The real Organization Thirteen. The Organization? I am Xehanort from the most distant past. My future self gave me a task. To visit the splintered versions of myself in many worlds and ensure they gathered here today. From the past? There are restrictions to movement through time. First, you must leave your body behind to do it. Then, there must be a version of you waiting at the destination. Upon arrival, you can only move forward as per the laws of time. And you cannot rewrite the events that are destined to happen. What have you done? My most future self will arrive soon. Then time for all of us will return to normal. And I will go back to my era to live the life fate has in store. He can vouch for that. Uh, 
I'm glad I'm not too late. Mickey! <sighs> Just grab Sora so we can go. I can't stop them for long. Okay. <laughs> Mickey! <gasps> I said hands off. How can you be moving? Oh, oh no. Are you? Be gone. Are you okay, Riku? Yeah. Thanks, Mickey. Huh? Oh, Master Xehanort! Huh? We were right about you! <laughs> All of this was decided. My twelve selves would welcome me here on this day, when I would return a complete person. It is the future which lies beyond my sight. Why are you doing this? In ancient times, people believed that light was a gift from an unseen land by the name of Kingdom Hearts. But Kingdom Hearts was safeguarded by its counterpart, the Keyblade. Warriors vied for that precious light, thus beginning the Keyblade War. The violent clash shattered the Keyblade into twenty pieces. Seven of light and thirteen of darkness. And the only real Kingdom Hearts was swallowed by the darkness never to surface again. I once tried to create my own pure light and darkness to forge the Keyblade, but the attempt ended in failure. In my eagerness, I had lost sight of the correct way to achieve my goal. I acted rashly. I can admit that now. What you did back then, your mistakes, changed the destinies of three of my friends! Ah, but destiny is never left to chance. I merely guided them to their proper places. The broken boy who failed to be the blade. The misguided master who sacrificed herself for a friend. And the feckless youth who became my new vessel. I couldn't find a way to save them. But I wanted to believe that their sacrifice stopped you for good. Why? How was I so blind? I should have seen it as soon as Maleficent started gathering the seven princesses of heart. Yes. They were all my doing. I used the evil fairy to find seven pure lights for me. Just as I prepared thirteen vessels to fill with pure darkness. But you failed. Sora stopped you in your tracks on both counts. Yes, he did. 
that dull, ordinary boy. A Keyblade wielder so unlike any I have ever seen. However, I have not abandoned my ambitions. The Seven Guardians of Light and the Thirteen Seekers of Darkness. <laughs> Seven Guardians of Light? Well, for Keyblade wielders, there's me and Riku and Sora, and my three missing friends, that six. Then the seventh would be... <gasps> that means the Thirteen Seekers of Darkness. Yes, little king. Perceptive. But Sora and another on your list belong to me now. And that puts you three guardians short. But worry not. All of the pieces are destined to appear. Your seven lights, just like my thirteen darknesses, whose final clash will beget the prize I seek. The, the Keyblade! Keyblade. First, the Thirteen Darknesses shall be united. All the seats have been filled. And now, the last vessel shall bear my heart like the rest. Uh, no! Sora! The name's Lee. Got it memorized? You're not supposed to be here! Promises to keep. I'll always be there to get my friends back. What? Bad timing? You had your perfect little script, but you kind of forgot to write the sequel. Now, let's find out what happens. Gah. What now, you old coot? Our time is up! Isa. Why are you here, Axel? No, I told you my name's... Whatever. Axel. Fine. Now let's get out of here. Right! Supposed to do that. I think so. <laughs> Goofy, Donald, you saved us. We are out of time. Neither the union of light nor darkness has been achieved. We must all return whence we came. But the gathering of the seven and thirteen is nigh. Let us finish this at the fated place, once your lights and my darknesses have joined together! <laughs> <laughs>